Hi everyone, thank you for joining us and welcome to today's demo of the Yodec platform. This meeting is going to start with a short demo of the service, which will be followed by a Q&A session at the end. In the meantime, feel free to type any questions in the chat and one of my colleagues will try to answer as we go along. Otherwise, they will of course be addressed during the Q&A session. So without further ado, why don't we jump straight in and start taking a look at the features and capabilities that Yodec has to offer. First of all, what we're looking at here is the Yodec dashboard. This is the initial page that you're going to notice as you're logging into your account. You'll just get some information in regards to the status of your screens and of your overall account. But all the steps that you'll be taking to go from A to Z in your account are located in this menu on the left hand side. So just please keep in mind that you need to work your way down it. First of all, you're beginning by uploading your media to the account through this section here. Then you're moving down to the playlist and the layouts, which are the two tools that allow you to combine all of this information and create your final displays. And then your final step is in the monitors uh, section where you're pushing that content, those displays out to your TV. So all we're doing to begin is just clicking on the item that we're going to be uploading to the account, be it images, videos, documents. And then we're simply clicking on this add button down here to actually feed the content into the account. These are the different sources that you can choose from. So you can obviously choose from like video files from your local PC, YouTube videos, live streams, stock videos. In the documents, exactly the same procedure, just clicking on the add button and choosing from where you're going to be bringing in your content. As you can see, you do also have the ability to insert and display web pages on your screens as well. So obviously, uh, copying and pasting the URL into the Yodec account, again, through this Add Web Page button will allow you to set up that web page. And that's all you're doing. To upload your media, those are the only steps that you'll be following. So your next step along is the widget. And this is where you'll find the little applications that allow you to embellish the screen, let's say. So this is where you'll find, for example, time widgets or calendar or weather, which can then just be placed in a corner of the screen so that you've got even more information up there than just a full screen display. In the general, this is where you'll find your miscellaneous widgets. So you'll find, for example, the ticker, Google traffic, QR code. I'm just going to scroll down and you can see the rest of them here as well. Okay. Moving on to the remaining categories, we have the social media, the news, and lastly, the business. This is where you'll find your KPI, graphs, data dashboards, that kind of display can be accomplished through here. Okay. Again, once you finish with the widgets that you want to um, create, those will be stored in this widget gallery, ready to be placed into a playlist and or a layout as we go along. And let's have a look at how that will be done. The playlist, first of all, this is a feature that simply allows you to create slideshows or carousels, call it what you will. You've got your full screen displays here of your content just rolling one after the other on a loop. So here you can completely mix and match images with documents, with video. Anything that you have uploaded so far can be inserted into a playlist. And essentially, now if I go and click on the Save button here, what I will have created is a full screen display with my items just going from one to the other and playing on a loop. So if you're simply after a full screen display like this one, totally fine. You can just give it a name here at the top, click on save and then head straight to your monitors and push that playlist out to your TVs. Otherwise, if you did come across a few widgets that you wanted to use, then you would need to create a layout in order to create that kind of tiled effect where you've got multiple items of media playing on your screen at the same time. Okay, and let's have a look at how that will be done. 
Again, very simply clicking on this Add Layout button down here. What you will see here, first of all, are some pre-designed templates that our team has put together. Now, these can, of course, just either give you some inspiration or you might come across one that fits your needs entirely, in which case you can, of course, click on it and import it to completely uh, customize everything that's on the screen here. But, of course, if you have something very specific in mind, then clicking on this Create Custom Layout will allow you to create your very own layout from scratch. Just clicking on this Insert button as many times as you need, you can insert into here as many items as you wish. So let's just say that I'm going to take a playlist of four videos that I created earlier on. So I'm just going to go ahead now and assign this playlist to this area of the screen. And then all around it, as you can see, I've left a bit of space to add widgets and texts and practically anything else from this menu that I would like to insert. So let's just go ahead and give you an idea. Let's put a weather widget in this top right hand corner and let's also insert a ticker going along the bottom. There we go. As you can see, I really am just inserting the content into the screen and just assigning it to the area where it should play afterwards. And that's all a layout is. Okay, uh, of course, you could then go ahead and fill out the rest of the screen, uh, the rest of the areas of the screen. And once you've done that, again, you're just giving it a name, clicking on save, and you've created yourself a layout. Moving on, the penultimate step is the schedules. Now, again, this is not a compulsory step. If you've got the kind of content where you can schedule that out from beforehand, so you know, for example, exactly what's going to be playing on your TVs for the next few weeks, then why not go ahead and create a schedule here so that you're not having to log into the account every couple of days and make changes. Uh, you could then just, for example, create some slots here and decide what you're going to display during those hours and then just let that run. Okay, but of course, if you're just going to be displaying a simple playlist, a simple layout, day in, day out, you wouldn't even need to create a schedule. You could just take that layout, head straight to your monitors, and just push the layout straight out to the TV so that it, it just plays all day. So first of all, what we're looking at here on the monitors is the screens that you're managing. Down the middle here, you'll be able to see the schedules that you're displaying if you wanted to do so. Otherwise, if you're not displaying a schedule like here and you're simply displaying some default content, that can be seen here. And by default content, we very simply mean anything that comes above the schedules. Okay, so to update your screens, you're very simply clicking on the edit button at the side of the screen that you wish to update, and then going ahead here and finding the content from the drop-down menu. If it's a schedule you want to push out, great, you can find it from the drop-down menu. Otherwise, exactly the same procedure to find a layout or a playlist. Okay, and once you've done that, you're very simply clicking on this Save button to save the configuration in your account. Okay, but that will not push it out to your TV. So your final click is up here on this flashing Push the Players button. There we go. And that will now take those configurations from my account. It will push them out to the screen within a matter of seconds. And as you can see, it will also let me know about it as well. So that covers the whole process of going from A to Z, from just having your simple media files loaded into the account all the way down to pushing out professional and obviously good looking displays to your screens. The last two little sections of the platform I'd like to bring your attention to is this question mark button down here, where obviously this is where you will find help. So you'll find help from our user manual, from video tutorials on our YouTube channel. And of course, if uh, none of those help, then submitting a ticket down here will put you in touch with our tech support for any tech help you might need. And of course, for those who feel like 
they like uh, what they look, uh, what they're looking at, or they are ready to move forward and this might fit their needs, then through here you will be able to either purchase a Yodec player to do some testing, which just allows you to purchase a standalone device, or through the Add Screen button you can actually upgrade your account. So other than that, through this little menu, of course, you've got access to your account settings, your profile, and the users button where, of course, you can add other users to your account to help out with the management of the screen. Now, just a quick note on the pricing of the service. Just bear in mind that everything that we just looked at in the Yodec platform was part of the standard plan. And of course, the Pro and the Enterprise come with a few extra features. So the Pro is uh, indeed best for users that have multiple items of content because it just offers some features that allow for better organization. And of course, the Enterprise has all of these security features. So if you're needing single sign-on and a few features like that, then this is where you'll find them. So these pricings, well, these costs, here that you can see are in USD and they are on the monthly basis. Uh, of course, just times any of these by 12 and you will get the annual. And just keep in mind that the only difference between the monthly and the annual is the fact that with the monthly plan, you would need to purchase the hardware separately to your monthly subscription, whereas with the annual, you will provide that hardware for free. And by hardware, I do mean the Raspberry Pi device. This is it down here. And this is the little media player that we are compatible with. So this is your middleman between your Yodec account and your actual TV screen. So just keep that in mind. This is how it's also spelt. And um, yeah, that pretty much concludes the Yodec platform demo. So thank you, everyone. I truly hope that Yodec will make your digital signage ideas a reality. And um, yeah, I think we're ready to move on to the Q&A session. Thanks again.